Canyoneering is an adventure sport combining route finding, rappelling, problem solving, swimming, and hiking. Zion National Park has become one of the premier places in the country to participate in this exciting activity. With dozens of different canyons to choose from, some barely wide enough for a human to squeeze through, Zion offers a range of canyoneering experiences from beginner to highly technical. Welcome, my name is Craig Thexton and I'm going to introduce you to some of the common dangers associated with canyoneering in Zion. Ultimately, your safety is your responsibility and there is no substitute for planning ahead, bringing the right equipment, having the right skills, and using good judgment. Being smart will make the difference between having a wonderful trip, ending up in the hospital, or worse. Every week, canyoneering groups spend unintentional nights camped in the backcountry of Zion. There are many reasons for this, including difficulty finding routes, injuries, and flash floods. If you think these things can't happen to you, you're wrong. So as you pack for your trip, make sure you're prepared to spend the night. And if you intended on spending the night, make sure you're prepared to spend another. Every person in your group should bring extra food, clothing, water, and a headlamp. Flash floods are a constant danger in the narrow canyons of Zion, and they can occur at any hour of the day, on any day of the month, and in any month of the year. Check the weather forecast and flash flood potential before beginning your trip. When the National Weather Service says that there is a 20% chance of rain, it actually means that 20% of the forecast area will receive measurable precipitation. This fact is often misunderstood, so let me repeat it. A 20% chance of rain means that 20% of the forecast area will receive measurable precipitation. When considering weather, you need to ask yourself two questions. What is the likelihood of rain? And how large is the drainage area of the canyon that I intend to hike? Even a short period of heavy rain will cause flooding in Zion's slot canyons. Floods have occurred on days when the potential for flash flooding was low. A rating of moderate, high, or very high should be a serious cause for concern. If you have any doubt, stay out. Once you have made the decision to enter a canyon, assessing flash flood danger becomes much more difficult. Things to watch out for include cloud buildup, thunder, a sudden drop in water clarity, floating debris, stronger currents, and rising water levels. If you have the misfortune of observing any of these signs, seek higher ground immediately and stay there until conditions improve. Never try to beat a flash flood out of a canyon. Believe it or not, jumping is the leading cause of preventable injuries in Zion's backcountry. A jump of only a few feet can cause serious lower leg injuries requiring a costly rescue and a lengthy recovery. Don't jump, bring a rope and use it. Route finding is a critical canyoneering skill. The park's canyons lack signs or maintain trails, so following maps and route descriptions is essential. GPS units are a useful tool, but they are no substitute for common sense and map reading skills. If you are traveling through a popular canyon, Make sure the social trails and other signs of use match what you would expect to see. Recognize that your first rappel is a critical decision point. Once you rappel and pull your rope, you must complete the canyon that you are in, whether or not it is the canyon you intended to travel through. Many accidents occur while rappelling. Before you begin your trip, evaluate your group's rappelling skills with a few simple questions. Are you able to evaluate the condition of anchors and replace them if necessary? Do you know how to create extra friction on longer rappels or free rappels? Do you know how to ascend a rope? If you answered no to any of these questions, consider taking a class before striking out on your own. A number of organizations and outfitters in Springdale and the local area offer instruction on canyoneering techniques. In addition to protecting yourself and your group during your visit to Zion, it is also your responsibility to help us protect the park. So while you're here, show your respect for the park and your fellow visitors by observing the following guidelines. Access trails often suffer the worst impacts along a route. If there are several different trails leading into or out of a canyon, use the one that crosses durable surfaces like rock or sandy washes. Avoid walking on steep slopes and other areas that are susceptible to erosion. Large groups cause unacceptable impacts to the wilderness experience of others. 
Big groups are not permitted to split into smaller groups and visit the same canyon on the same day. Please keep your group size small and think about how your actions and behavior affects others. Prevent bottlenecks. If another group catches up to your party, find a convenient place to allow that faster party to pass. Avoid bolting. Use natural anchors whenever possible, and if you must place a bolt, do so so that it will last for many years and will cause minimal damage to the rock during rope pulls. And carry out your toilet paper. Don't bury it, don't burn it, and don't leave it for someone else. With your help, we can ensure that Zion's backcountry remains wild and beautiful for generations to come. I'm Craig Thexton. On behalf of everyone here at Zion National Park, I wish you a safe and enjoyable visit.